neat instructional design tool called a, tr a chunk diagram. I'm going to give you some tips. The how to do it is in your handout. The first thing you want to do is get your tools together. You need a sticky notes, flip chart, markers, and some tape. You need to put the right people in the room. Make sure you have your subject matter experts, your uh, instructional designers, your developers, and most important, your customers. You need to get them to brainstorm tasks. Step number one, make sure you give them a list of verbs because they're not going to be used to thinking in the same terminology that we're used to thinking in. Start collecting the, flip no the sticky notes. Have them put one per thought per sticky note on there. Make sure that you allow them to continue to add sticky notes. Then you want to sequence and prioritize the sticky notes. When you get done, you'll have a process across the top and procedures across the bottom. Now there's some really cool things to this. The first is that while you have all these people in the room, you can collect some activities. You can validate whether the activities will work with the target audience. You can collect some information for case studies, for exercises, for role plays. You can get names and phone numbers of resources that you can call. And the really coolest thing is the customer, the stakeholder, has just helped you create a two-day course. But he's asked you for a one-day course. So now he gets to look at the course he just designed and all of the information he just puts up there and he gets to decide which, which topics he wants to eliminate from the course. That's really cool. Thank you.